Hi there, it's Miriam with Engadget, and this here is the Galaxy Tab 10.1, the Google I.O. edition. And what I want to show you today is SwiftKey X. It's the latest version of the SwiftKey keyboard. It's now available for uh, Honeycomb here. So uh, let me get started here by bringing up an email and installing the app. And I want to show you the install process and as well I'll walk you through some of the settings, show you the different keyboard layouts, etc. So the first thing you get is a terms and condition. And then here is this really cool setup. So you can choose your language. Uh, we're going to choose English US. And then uh, it's downloading the package, language pack right there. And the next feature is Big C walks you through setting it up as your default keyboard. So here it's walking me through. As you can see, it goes through the settings and it tells me to select this, hit OK, and hit the back key. So now that I've done that, I can set it as the default here. And this is really cool. Let's me pick a precise or rapid typing style. What this means is if you are a careful typist, you pick precise. In my case, I'm very sloppy but fast. So I hit rapid. And then you can personalize a few things. Um, what's very exciting here is that it can connect to your Facebook, your Gmail, or your Twitter. Um, and basically uh, get some statistics on how you type like what how you make your sentences what words you use in order to customize its uh, its dictionary and prediction so of course none of this is kept at their end it's just uh, uploaded to their servers processed and sent back to the tablet and then once you do this uh, you get much more accurate prediction because obviously it's using your writing style to predict so I'm gonna skip this part right now and so this is basically it. Uh, it's got some quick tips and we can go to settings. And actually, um, let me just go straight to the keyboard. So uh, what I'll do here is go back to the home screen, bring up uh, the browser, and then uh, we're gonna do a, a bit of typing. So here it is. Uh, by default, it comes out in a split layout like this, and uh, you can select different themes. So the new thing is the, the split layout is unique to the tablet. But the new thing is, is theming, as well as this uh, social cloud networking interaction. Now, the other thing as well is that this, um, basically as you type, it learns how accurate you are as, at hitting the center of the keys, and it creates sort of a graphic map of your level of sloppiness, as it were. And as a result, um, it learns at how inaccurate you are about, about typing, which is really kind of cool. You can switch between a regular layout here, like this, or the split layout by hitting this key. And down here, you have a little Swift key icon that brings up the settings. You can share the app, send people a message saying, hey, check out the app, etc. And then you have... Um, voice input if you want to to use that and a little support brings you to the support setting so let me just show you quickly the settings uh, there's a whole bunch of things it supports 17 languages and up to three simultaneously which is kind of cool if you're multilingual like me you can set up like English French and German for example and it can figure it out um, let's see so this is in here you can pick them there personalization uh, this is the stuff I was telling you about, where it can connect to your Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail and download your, the posts you've written so it knows your typing style. Theme and layout. So there's three themes. There's a neon, a light, and a dark. Let me set the, the light next and go back so you can see what it looks like. So this is the light layout in full QWERTY and in uh, normal QWERTY. I mean split QWERTY. And then uh, let me bring up the, the dark layout as well so you can have a look. Sorry, that's not the one I wanted right here. So dark is, is actually a little more suited, I think, to, uh, to gingerbread, you'll see. And don't mind the train in the background. So here we go. This is the dark layout in full size. And here's the split dark layout. All right, so now show you more of the settings. 
You saw that there's a layout option. You can pick your type of keyboard. So if you're German, you probably want a Quartz. If you're English, uh, a, a QWERTY and Azerty is the other choice, which is the French. Um, you can choose to show foreign characters as long presses with the toggle here. Uh, this shows your unit user statistics. Obviously, I haven't used the keyboard. Uh, it gets better and better. It tells you how its accuracy is getting better as you use it. Uh, typing style, this is the rapid or slow that we picked earlier. Or, sorry, rapid or precise. Um, this is very interesting. I personally like it better uh, so that when I hit the space bar, it just puts the space. It doesn't try to complete anything or even predict the end of my sentence. By default, it tries to predict the end of your sentence. Remember that Swift key actually does that. It, based on your writing style, learns um, your sentences you use the most commonly and tries to, to, fit, to fill them in for you, basically. Um, so then there's a bunch of other settings, like the double space for a period. Um, if you want haptics or not, voice recognition enable, duration, long presses, and gesture sensitivity, that kind of stuff. Quick tips, uh, basically just brings you to a web page with some help, so does support. And of course, the version number is indicated here in the SwiftKey Tablet X, about SwiftKey Tablet X. So let's do some typing. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, Mary had so as you can see up here as I type it predicts what the next word should be and in this case it thinks a little bit but I bet you if I were to type Mary had a little lamb ten times in here it would actually um, go and and memorize that uh, perhaps this is actually not the best app to do this in, so let me maybe just go back to the home screen, pick Gmail, and compose a message, and then we can uh, we can play with that. Hello, world. What you can hear here is the haptic feedback. Contrary to the zoom, the uh, uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 has a vibration motor. So this is pretty good. Um, I can type pretty quickly on this. There you go. And so you can like hit the first couple of letters. I hope, see, you are feeling is what I want. Feeling, no, well is what I want. There you go. So you see, I, I typed very little and kept using the predictive here just to show you what it what it looks like. Um, it's a pretty slick, um, I have to say. Let me actually change this, uh, this color back to the white. It might be a little easier for you guys to see. So we want the lights theme. And there, I hope it's a little easier for you to see now. So basically, um, to recap, you can start saying things like Engadget is the best, see best, and then tech, actually I hit space twice, so it made the space tech technology, and then it doesn't know there, but I'm going to go for blog, in the world. See, I didn't even have to type these last three words. So that's what I'm talking about. This is what SwiftKey does. And, you know, personally, I don't use the, predict the tapping on um, the words it predicts that much because I'm more like typer. But um, for some people, I can see this uh, being very, very useful. So anyway, this is a quick look at SwiftKey X for Android tablets with the split feature, as you can see here. Um, I can't type on this, it's really not my thing. I don't do very well with physical split keyboards either. So check the PR in, in, in this post for more info. Cheers.